Welcome back to NCAA Revamp Dynasty, UC Davis. And here we are coming off four straight losses, uh, taking on Idaho State, the worst team in the conference. We are the second worst team in the conference as of right now. Um, yeah, just a, a terrible, terrible stretch of games that we've had. Uh, but looks like we're playing one of the worst teams, not only record-wise, but statistics-wise. So probably, hopefully, the game that allows us to get back on track. Again, quick little peek there at our top players. Top players for Idaho State. Again, one, this is also one of the teams that I've imported into the game. Injuries. And I think we had one visiting prospect here. Yep, another guard. And we definitely need the offensive line help. Glad to have you with us um, in the studio. I'm yeah, I think you the, the conservative method NCAA and the running game have probably been killing us a bit. I think it's time to maybe start getting a little more aggressive. I made some adjustments on defense, moved some players around, some package substitutions. Haven't done so on offense yet. Um, because frankly, just the players that are starting are the best players available. Yeah, so there you have it. Top, <laughs> bottom two teams in the conference. Battling it out to see which one is not the worst. Um, both teams are imported, so for what that's worth, ratings-wise, they're just not very good, two very good teams. So again, let's see if this is a game that we can hopefully get back on track with. I, I'm pretty sure we're already eliminated from... Old contention. Um, we're just about we'll we'll to only get find that out once, once the game is actually designed. All right, so let's Take get started. Oh, Doesn't make it on the thirty-three-yard line. Garrett is going to take the field for the first time now in front of the yeah, home crowd. Yeah, that game set, and this offense really gives this team an opportunity to be very, very good. He's one of our favorites to watch. Her. Well, I think it's going to be interesting to see right, this offense we'll goes to him any right success. Just give him a chance running against this terrible play. team. The other thing I want to see is how is this defense going to adjust to where he is aligned on the field? Are we going to use double coverage to try to slow him down? Mm -hmm. Nice run, and he's brought down. So the Aggies have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. They need Let's get going offensively. Get first here on second down. Alex Cannon is having a pretty decent season. Um, majority of receiving touchdowns have gone to Garrett. Um, but Cannon's on pace for a thousand yards. I think he will get there. We'll use him here in a sweep. It worked last time. Okay. Get around that edge. Let's go. Oh. Damn it, I thought he had a chance to get you love having this kind of weapon. You already know what kind of damage zone. he can cause in the passing game. And here you can see what he can do when you hand the ball off to him. Funny enough, uh it's first and ten. Yeah, we're looking like we have success because the team is so damn bad. Will the receivers hold the blocks in this pitch? That's the question. Are you kidding me? The offensive Come on, line needs to man. do a better Stumbling job backwards not only this. handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball yeah. carriers will have a this little bit more room to get to that second level. Because this is very embarrassing how slowly get out to the to make that block. Gives it up the gut. Nice gain as he works the right side. Can we average more than four yards a game? Four yards a carry, I should say, in this game. That'll be sort of indicative as to how truly bad our offensive line is. There you go, Sloat. All right, quick, quick touchdown drive. What, four or five plays? Five, six plays, maybe? But less than two minutes. This was good to see. Healthy start to the game. Not used to these types of starts. It'll be interesting though, because now we're going from the worst team in the conference this week against Idaho State, and we're playing Nevada, 
next week, which is actually the best team in the conference. This will be interesting, right? Because uh, obviously these rosters are about a year old. As we know now, the Ubayeli, oh, no, I'm going to push his name right now. Uh, I think it's about Oregon, Oregon State. Obviously, transfer portal is not a thing in this game. But that'll be really interesting to see how that develops over the course of the next season in real life. From the two. Oh, what the hell, Howard? Bring him down oh, nice. Alright, so like I said, made so a couple substitutions. I moved Briggs around a bit. Really is really the biggest substitutions I made. I flipped him between him and uh, Jones. As far as uh, strong safety and free safety. And then I've also substituted groups into some linebacker tackles, packages as well. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. So the Aggies wide out. You see Griggs is right there. Make a comeback before this game's over. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Lewis has been a stud this season, and um, I think he'll be the starting corner. He'll be the, the top guy going into this next upcoming season. He's got a little bit of everything statistically. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 46. Are and you the kidding me? Comes up with a nice run. This is just strength on strength right here. They give it to the fullback and he powers his way for some good yardage and another first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Yes! There it is! That was worthwhile. Yes, Casper. Let's go, buddy. Woo! What a play! Griggs sack force fumble. Alright, so far I'm looking smart for making that move there. Man, what a play. Force fumble. Blasted picks it up. Big boy hurdles. And makes it all the way to the end zone. Calling him Casper the Unfriendly Ghost. I know it's corny. But uh, we got to have a tough, tough nickname when you're playing football. Let that play, play for a second. Wow, what a play. This is what I'm talking about. We're making some plays. That's right. Give him a pat. Big man. White has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Man, that was awesome. Griggs is a playmaker. I mean, that's why I had him at safety. I um, was actually hoping for a lot more of that when he was playing safety. But I figured, you know what? He's not getting the opportunity to get in on tackles. And it seems like the free safety was getting in on a lot more of those types of plays. And so I'm like, okay, well, if we put Griggs well, in that position make to make more plays, just a few moments ago. I know you know, the idea is that he's going to make more plays. To watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And he yes, makes it Lewis. Yard line. Oh, man. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Yeah, Barron hopefully can get him in some place, too. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you'd like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore Briggs the pressure there, and get the ball out of there on time. Inde is a linebacker playing safety, so can't expect too much. Out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. He's good. The force of pressure may, may make that throw. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession. And These are really unnecessary. I will give him two yards. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession, possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Technically, his toes out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. Back. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. It would be funny though if they kind of get eight yards in this play. Yard line. Second down. Yes, our nothing. 
Defense is swarming. Love it. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Come on. Well, there was no one even around him. I don't know who he was juking. We've got a first and ten. Ball in 34. They're showing blitz. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 32-yard line. I know this. I don't know what the hell is this guy doing. I mean... Well, Kirk, good news. Kind we saw him go to the locker bit. room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. That's incomplete. Oh. Too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. He got a lot of pressure on him, though. That was good. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Yes. Sure, it's disappointing, but this what they is the kind of mechanical flaw that can fix with practice ball? and coaching. We're gonna punt it. Perkins, what the hell are you doing back there? Mm. Did I miss? Did I miss the announcement for Garrett? This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. No, this doesn't make sense what they just did there. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Hmm, Jared must be injured. Hands off to the right and is brought down well, to the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off. for 2,000, uh, close to 2,000 yards from scrimmage. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Off the severity of the 19 yard line. That'll put an end to the first quarter of action. Let that run through and see. Aggie. Good first quarter for us. Hitting on all cylinders. Defense is bending but not breaking. And, and one, on one play, this play here, they broke the offense. So that was awesome to see. Don't get a lot of uh, offensive, uh, defensive touchdowns. In and the game. we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. his receiver and he's taken down around the 46 yard line huge Excuse play the for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw first and ten so now that Garrett's out we're gonna have to figure out hopefully Silveria can do enough to keep us engaged there is that he's just gonna find his pills and take this given A little gutsy here, see if we can make a big, big play. Fakes to the back. Defense coming and the ball comes out. Uh, and scoops it. He's at the 30. Are you kidding me? The 10. Touchdown. What a flip, and the crowd goes silent. Adding insult to injury if Garrett is out of the game right now. And, and this is why I don't do play actions. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, the offensive line does not hold up long enough to get us to get the ball off. Rushing attack can be difficult to stop. They get into the end zone for a touchdown. Swan is lined up to kick this one off. I'm just going to check what's up with Garrett and see how long he's out. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24 yard line. Because he never, I never got the notice for him to get back in the game. So let's see here what's happening here. G. Injury report. I'm going to make 
I guess we just have to stick it out without him. That's unfortunate. But that means everybody else has to step up. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So he's doing okay. You know, he's not uh, breaking off some crazy so runs, but down now. They need about four yards to pick he's, up the uh, he's moving the moving line, moving the chains. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Oh, oh come, come on, man! These drop passes are are getting ridiculous, honestly. We do have receivers coming in next season, though. Um, one of the guys is in his high 70s. And a quick throw. Go and forward. Right the -yard line. Thank you. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Some, some holes. Across the middle, tight end's got it. So that's having a good game. Man's getting open. From the He's uh, shaking off on uh, First down. that trailing linebacker. Okay, on the run, what a throw. I was scared we're gonna get past the uh, line of scrimmage when we got a throw, but we, 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 uh, we didn't, so that's good. There it is. Another score. Offense is rolling. Obviously, all their score came off of uh, the fumble return for a touchdown, which is kind of funny because that's the game. I don't know if it's ever. I mean, I'm sure it's happened before. Both teams in the studio with this had that type of score in the game. Checking in on the Mountain West, which is becoming a high powered offensive. Sac State, conference. another. This is a game we've been watching for today. It is in the middle of the second conference. Uh, conference. Sac State, obviously, another team here, that was uh, imported. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. I do wonder now with the new NCAA Excellent game that's coming out if they will be having Team Builder to bring that back because I think that was amazing. He's to the 20. He's taken it's funny because I had just found three. out how to do the logos to where it wouldn't be all um, it's a new pixelated. For this offense, so what will it hold? Right before they uh, they shut it down. There it is, Griggs again. All right. Feel free to force more turnover, buddy. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 18. There are some pieces here um, for the future, which is good. Griggs is in one of them. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Um, yeah, I think he's a sophomore. Barron is a junior. He's got six sacks in the year. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. <laughs> got to watch this guy in the 25. First down, Grant. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the official judgments can have a big impact on a game. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And he 
He's going to be sacked for a yes, who was that? To the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young eight. man didn't even have a chance to make something he happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Okay. His arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw right. the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. All right, let's see what we're going to go with here. They hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Oh, I got the ball super late. Complete. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Got the ball way too late. Strike to the receiver, no Here's the case of the quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the I don't know what happened. Rick, uh, Perrin has not been able to get to the quarterback this is the eighth play at all. Drive. Last four, three, four games at least. Oh, did not be pushed. Come on. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. The officials have gotten really serious about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. No, I think that was silly. That was really, really silly. That was way. That was literally the same time. Okay, that time. That time they could have called it because I definitely hit square after the quarterback let go of the ball. This is the 10th play of this drive. He couldn't hang on. Incomplete. Okay, we got a drop ask working in our favor for once. Don't get happy, but he got beat big time. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Get him, Baron. All right, got him behind. I don't know if they're going to go for a field goal or what they're going to do here. They're going to go for it. So the Aggies taking their first time out of the half. I do want a chance to get the ball back. I feel like they're gonna hike it a lot sooner. Since they're not. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Remember some. And it looks like they're gonna bring some, some heat. Pressure here. Hopefully they're not gonna. Bonus. Unable to convert on fourth down. Yes. Pressure worked. Let's see if we can get something going. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Aggressive play going for the deep ball, but the corner stayed with it all the way and made a good move to break it up. From their own 30-yard line. It's we don't need down. a touchdown. I would like to put some points on the board. Um... Yeah. Quick strike to the receiver. Mm, he's knocked out of bounds in. at about the 49. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive That player. was on he me. Hesitated too much. Pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Yes. So the Aggies are going to have to call their third. Was it last? 
him out. What are we gonna do? Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Drop down at the eight yard line. And that'll do it for the first half. Well, Raven come down with well, the touchdown, but Aggies. But, okay, we're winning. Uh, I don't know if we receive Glad to, have you with us in the studio to start for the, the second half or not. Football 14 but, show, listen, good first half, can't complain. Innovation um, that Davis and David you know, here, obviously, we want to nitpick, you know, half. the, According to the, scoreboard, the, first the half forced fumble touchdown that we gave up. And they are, there it is, nullified scored. sort of that That's one that we got. Surprising. But so anyway, sure slice it, we're winning really 21, about two scores. Right you might have a playing well. A um, yeah, you might be, you might be up by the yeah, it's just kind of, you, you know, I'm thinking, like um, I'm excited about this game. Before. Finally a win. I didn't realize we were on a four-game win losing streak. So, so far on pace to do what we need to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Really We've got a lot of games to watch, including this. yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. By BYU Hawaii getting smacked by Oregon State. <laughs> Reese and David, thanks guys. Okay, so Second half off. action, just about ready to start here. We need one really, really good defensive possession here to start the second half. He'll return it from the three. I think that'll set momentum for us. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. I do think we can get some pressure on the quarterback the from the end position. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Good job of building this lead and almost determined here. To it's actually not this connected. It was connected the whole time. The the There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 37. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. I'm going to go a little aggressive here. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Wide out makes the first down catch. He's tackled at about the 41. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the, the opposite of how we need to start this half. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by a big plays. Read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Offensive. False start. False start. Still first down. All right, that's first a bit helpful. Now after the penalty. I'm actually rushing in the two down line this one. You can tell he's got a lot okay, of faith in his tackle. wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Is this that one unstoppable drive that each team gets? Nice Forced him back there. inside, but Five what the hell? Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Look at Xavier Drew's game. They might be Good coming game. here. Sets up the screen. Oh, Tilbert's crack. got it. Knocked out of bounds. Lewis again. 
This man is everywhere. Okay, they're gonna go for it. Let's get some, come on, defense, make a stop here. Let's go. Quick throw, and he will score. <sighs> the wide receiver just toasted. Touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the sails. Come on, his hands are getting better every single game. They rolled the dice. Should have just went that right of the tackle, but I'm sure they're hit. happy with the result. How did you get that wide open? He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. This is strange, I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit weird. Fourth in the nation, and for Louisville, their hot streak continues. And for Mitchell, it's an interesting he top four. What was it? Auburn, uh, Cincinnati was three, Louisville four. It's not the traditional, I mean, you can consider Auburn, but it's not the traditional Alabamas and Clemsons and whatnot. I do think Clemson was ranked well, though. I don't remember what the major upset is now complete. The Panthers take it by three. That's good stuff, wow. Reese. Thank you. Swan has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And they push him out. Right around the Let's go, Aaron the Jones. Oh, I did make some changes on the, on the kick return as well. Uh, moves the players around They're set to, go to give us some the more... Round. Give us more opportunities to, to break some runs because the guys that we were playing with weren't blocking. He's got like 150 yards this game. Receiving. Solid game by that guy there, Mr. Slope. Oh man, that big boy got there. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Anyway, slice it. The most important thing in this game is to, is to get a touch the score. Whether it's a touchdown, whether it's a touchdown, whether it's a field goal, you just need to score. Teams. It's third and goal from the two. Let's see if we get Cannon to score. Fire quickly and he's got yeah, right there. Gap. There was a gap. There was a hole. Cannon. There we are. It's only his fourth receiving touchdown of the, game, of the, of the season. Um, but, you know, I think he's having a good overall season. It's over 750 yards. Four receiving touchdowns, obviously it's not great, but maybe we'll get another one before this game's over. But it's just that Garrett is having such a really, really, really good season. Uh, he has 16 total touchdowns. 16 total touchdowns for Garrett. I think nine, nine rushing, seven receiving. So he's gotten most of the attention on, on, on offense. Uh, Cannon is, you know, he's a good player. They got into the I end try to get, get him involved when I can. See if they can match that on this possession. But you know, this defense Garrett was really the focus of this offense. Yes, Griggs! Two sacks in the game. Good play, buddy. Defense looking for another down. sack in the second down and long situation. All he's missing is an interception at this point. And he's tackled around the 18 yard line. Woo -hoo -hoo. Is Lewis again? Yes, it is. This guy might be leading our team in tackles for loss. He's always around the ball. He is not afraid to hit. I'll tell you that much.
20 yards. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. I'm about to say, no man, you've been there for the 20 yards. And to get a three and out. I mean, they did bring some pressure with linebackers. Hopefully they got to throw the ball quicker. But to know you've stopped the work. best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. And again, they provided great pressure on the play, and the no offense sacks, just the wasn't able to get the first big. down. Sack was huge. And he's tackled at the 40. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When his quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Let's Second just down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 34. And down he goes at about the 47 yard line. I'd like to see Cannon break a tackle. <laughs> Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Oh my god, I can't believe that. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, I can't believe through that. And the the guy was sitting on the route. Up costing you. That's three down and one to go. So the Aggies lead it by two touchdowns. That's why Brandon Wright has eight, 17 passing quarter. touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Because <laughs> I make plays, boneheaded plays like that. This one is incomplete. He doesn't move. He's just like, give throw to somebody, make him catch it. It's second and ten. She wants to hit somebody. Yes. Man, this team looks like they've decided to go for it here. Just doesn't care. And he hits him hard at the 39 yard line. Football will change yes. hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Woo. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. Come if on, you man. can get in there the and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. That was kind of funny because that, that guy ran, like, he ran the route for the receiver. Show that replay. That was sick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Let's do him again. Complete. He gets hit out of bounds around the 31 yard line. Good game for him. Really good game. Off. The 
complete across the middle. Nice play to set up first and goal. And it was TJ's first reception of the game it is. Well, it's first down. down with a few fumbles. For six points here. Then around work. Going well, to the counter. Let's see if it goes for us. Was side for a nice game. It does work well. Might be a play I'd like to go back to every once in a while. Less than three minutes in the game. Let's see if we can get TJ involved. Look at Cannon first. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. Might open. There it is. Trying to get some momentum built up for this passing game because um, I think we were playing kind of scared the last few games, and that's caused us to uh, to lose some games, frankly, because our our running game wasn't getting going, and, he and the extra point. because that wasn't working, yard drive, I was nervous to be you know aggressive at all with passing. To be able to read the defense Granted, the right this is not the level they of competition we've been playing the last couple games of the season. But I still think it's important to establish a more aggressiveness moving forward. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28. So the Aggies have a team. Oh, the fumble. Sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a pile like that. Shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their just job. Just interceptions. We cannot get interceptions from Everybody reason. plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory, you want to take a chance to make sense. Dimino is getting in on it. I understand that, and I get it. But when you're in your own territory, and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. I don't know what he's talking about, but I know that the BCS rankings or whatever the hell the rankings are called now are dependent on, uh, on final score, so if I do get the ball back, I am going to try to score again. Just under two minutes in the game. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 47 yard line. Should have done the that. flag came out so after far. the ball was thrown. Mm, Let's see what this, this is. This is iffy. That is not. If that is. Away three yards, <laughs> this play is bullshit, to be honest. For the guys on the this other penalty, side I should say, in this game We've got a first is ten. way too sensitive. The 32 yard line. They should be able to read when I hit the tackle button. If the. Quarterback is is in the throwing motion. That's not something I can do. Just and that one's stop incomplete. him from giving us freaking sack. Guys, make a freaking pick. Come on, man. Baron finally gets in on the play. And again, it's on Griggs. Griggs held the outside, forced the quarterback back inside, and there he is. Griggs was right in on it. Next, if Baron didn't get it, there was Griggs, 57. Well, they've converted one third down Man, play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Big, big slump there, buddy. There's a strike complete. All right, Howard, elect that you're going for strips. Uh, looking to strip the ball there. They come out in a five wide set. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the yes. stop of the ball game and maybe the season. That was garbage. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. I don't know what the season is. Pretty trashy season. 
Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. How about that play? I should have pitched it up there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. And this is stat padding. There's no uh, secret about it. And he's immediately tackled. I am trying to get King a little involved. To get like 40, 50 yards or whatever. And he is drilled. It's the 49. Oh, come on. This is pretty easily the worst offensive line I've uh, ever had a displeasure for me. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. This might be an interception. Might not at this point. Fires Doesn't really matter. He's tackled at the 17-yard line. Let's see if I can get him 100 yards. That'd be three receivers over 100 yards today. Setting up play action. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. There we go. I saw the corner. I saw him turn, and the corner well, a bailed after him. And I figured, okay, well the corner can't turn on this ball. So, oh yeah, he said, put the, <laughs> put the hand up. <laughs> it's a touchdown that we do care about because we need to put as many GS points in that system that we can. To potentially get a bowl game. I, 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 right now, this is the only thing I'm holding out hope for. Obviously, we have to do our part and actually win the rest of our games. But if this conference keeps beating itself up, there's a chance that uh, they'll be in with a bowl game. we really got a lopsided game here. Garrett's miserable day comes to an end, but hey, the important part is they got the win. Yeah, you talk about a day to forget well, as far as his individual performance, but I'm sure that we can win without him. That's important this part. Able to win the football game, but overcome his off day. That's a little blow. Guy was injured. Only five incompletions, one of the interception, of course. But all of a sudden, his uh, season numbers are looking a little bit better. The guy was already, he had a really good pass uh, completion percentage already going into this game. Uh, Randy Wright was pitch, uh, 71%. It's just that there's not a lot of plays where I've seen, um, you know, my guys are dropping interceptions left and right. I don't really see that happening on, on, in, in the game, and that's kind of what had me a bit nervous to throw more, is the fact that, you know, almost every single time my ball is in a, pos in, in a position for the defense, they intercept him. So that's really what, what kind of prevented me from, from being a little more aggressive. But at this point, nothing really left to lose. We've lost enough games. I think we got to start playing a little more aggressive. Today was a really good game. We had some really good plays. That's a great play by Cannon. Good throw by Wright. So there's some positives. Um, let's just hope that this game is actually going to be something that's going to build some momentum for us. We do have Nevada next week. And they are the best team in the conference I don't know what that means uh, for what the end and from for the Mountain West conference is at this point and I should say the split into two different um, divisions so in the division that we're in Nevada is leading but you know I guess we're gonna kind of see what that means once we play them so that'll be I'm looking forward to that game um, and again thank you guys for watching thank you for liking and subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week in Nevada hopefully we can keep this uh, momentum going